I remember when I was a teenager. At that time in my life, I definitely wish I was an octopus. I like teenage octopus before they even knew how to play their instruments. Because they don't have Wikipedia pages. Well, you know, they were like on the forefront of the chill wave movement. I just like the lead singer. Totally. I like Teenage Octopus before they had 475 likes on Facebook. Now they're a little too mainstream for me. Teenage Octopus makes me want to recycle. I'm gonna like Teenage Octopus right up until other people start liking them. Yeah, I only listen to Teenage Octopus ironically. Teenage Octopus is like play. Need I say more? My name is Bobby Lewis, if you didn't already know. I'm the lead guitarist. My hair look hard. Okay. Um, lead singer, uh, Kesmo. Actually, I'd really prefer if you didn't. Lead songwriter. I'm John Buknowski. Uh, call me, you guys in band call me Jasper. I'm the bass player. And uh, the lead, the lead guy in uh, Teenage Octopus. I'm Nico. Uh, I'm the keyboardist in the band. Uh, you know, co-frontman with Bob. Hello, Mr. Jonathan Brown asked me to read this prepared statement. As the voice of his generation, Mr. John Brown, the artist, refuses to spend his time on media interviews. He prefers to spend his time refining and expanding his craft. The sound of his drums is like the thunder of the gods, and Teenage Octopus is his flying worship of fiery passion. Thank you. John Brown, I'm, tol I'm totally into him. I'm, I'm digging, digging that mysterious artist sort of persona. Uh, you know, that's cool. Oh, we call right a lot of stuff together. Mm, we don't really, though. You just I come mean, up with a title, put some punctuation in on what I've already done. We write together. I mean, it's been it's pretty mutual with all the songs. But we're, you know, pretty much co front men. I'd say it's more like Paul McCartney and Paul McCartney's pet frog. But yeah, I love Bob. He's a great friend of mine. I feel like we get along well. Um, you know, if, I, if you know, it wasn't for me, <laughs> you know, we wouldn't even have a thing. I don't, I don't even know where this band would be without me. It, it might as well just be like some cardboard cutouts. I really help him co-write a lot of songs when he gets writer's block. You know, he really, he really can't finish a song to save his life. Nico can kind of get on my nerves. I think he really, he's, he's jealous of Bobby or something. He's always saying that he's, you know, the co-leader of Teenage Octopus, uh, whatever that means. I mean, do I think I could lead the band? I know I could lead the band. They're there to make me look better. You gotta let him be the artist, you know, he is, He's got that ego thing. He's got that front man thing. Uh, at the same time, I'm, I'm, up, I'm here to make fat stacks of pennies. Basically, like I'm here to make the pennies, make the Skrilla for our group, our band. So I actually met the band at a TGI Fridays. And basically I go there for happy hour because, you know, they have great Southwest pop-ups. And so I had, you know, my, my face was greasy, my belly was full of my own papas, and I walked by um, this table of these gentlemen, and they were eating their papas. And I looked down and I was like, what is that delicious looking sauce you're using? Is that ranch? And they said, no, it's blue cheese. And I go, oh, well, I've never thought to dip my papas in blue cheese. I like you guys' style. I think we could make patties together. I'm making you all of your pennies. Not so much with the pennies there. They might as well have been hitting pennies. Those additional people come additional pennies. You see what I'm saying? You want to see pennies. Nickels. The coconut loves the pennies. I actually don't like octopus. I like cuttlefish. They're like octopus. They're cuter. They have bigger heads and smaller tentacles. So they're similar, but not quite the same. And that's how they get you. Uh, originally, I, I replaced them. They had an octopus playing with them before. We had the um, cephalopod um, Ernesto. And um, Bob's big thing was dexterity. And you know, I liked the guy. Um, it, I just, he couldn't really eat those tentacles. But that's why we're Teenage Octopus. Well, at first we uh, were playing some really underground shows. Literally underground. Literally, basements. literally yeah, underground. Literally like some What's the password? Pony Bear. I'd say there were more mosquitoes at our shows than people. I at least probably... I mean, they're maybe, loud, though. They're loud, at least, which is nice. Yeah. So it's kind of like... Sometimes. Yeah, yeah there's, there's, there's definitely a buzz going around about our band. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're supposed to play the two there, dude. That was the two. The two. The two. Yeah, I just played... This is the two. I told you to play the three. I'm, I'm taking a but, break, well, Wait a minute. Whoa. I'll be right back. Yeah, you goddamn... My... <laughs> Bob. Really? Hey, get
Get out of here! Get out of here! He's got a, a bit of a Q-tip problem. He uses a, a lot of Q-tips, you know. Um, good guy, um, strong thighs, which I always respect in a man, but he has this problem with cotton swabs. Have you heard about this? Bobby started, you know, doing tips. I mean, he's my friend and I care about him a lot. He doesn't realize when he has a problem. Um, and he started doing it as a way to, you know, really bring up the show to the next level so he could hear, you know, he know who's in tune and it's just, it's tearing us apart, it's tearing him apart. Sucker, I hardly know her. <laughs> what the fuck is this? Sit down, Bob. Found these in your gym bag, Bob. Bob, I, I've tried to tell you so many times. Can you please speak up? It's about the Q-tips, Bob. This has been going on for so long and it's getting out of control. You're, you're going down a path, I just don't even know who you are anymore. I, we're doing shows and you gotta stop not to tune your guitar but to tune up your ears? Like, that's not normal. You can't just tip everywhere and anywhere. The band needs these. Our sound will not be the same. Are we, here, are we here about the swabs? Yeah, coconuts. We're here, we're here, oh, I thought we were filling out our volleyball brackets. No. Not other oh, swabs. Who okay, the you've got the problem. Guy? You've got the problem with the swabs. I'm, I'm with you guys now. Coconut doesn't give a shit about anyone, and he realized that. Coconut doesn't call his mother, and he's he called me about this. I don't about have a mother. Thanks for reminding me. You don't even know me. I need these. The band needs these. Bob, not everybody pulls a book out of their book bag, and they have, like, cotton swabs just, like, spewing out everywhere. It's, it's ridiculous, and it's a horrible image for us to have. Like, you can't go around tipping. <laughs> Bobby. Bo Bobby. No. Mate, you're literally <laughs> trying to smoke a swab. I'll do anything I want. I am Teenage Octopus. Oh, excuse, excuse me, gentlemen. Excuse me. Hello? Hi? Huh? Oh? Huh? Auntie. Good news, gentlemen. I just booked our next venture. We are going to be playing at the Ann Arbor Public Library. Unfortunately, it is a silent library. So we're not going to be so much playing as reading Goodnight Moon to a group of fourth graders. That said, they're not actually allowed to pay us, so no pennies involved. However, they have agreed to extend the amount of books we can rent from three to four. So I think that's pretty fair overall, and I think it's something we should be excited about. Golf clap all around. Back to what we're talking about, swabs. You have a problem. You need to deal with this problem. You need to work it out. It's bad for years. I just... I think this is really what we need right now to bring us together, Bob. Like, you're either going to be with us, you're, you know, you're going to be clean for the show, and not your ears. You're going to be clean, and we're going to do this together. And if not, man, like, I, I'll walk right out. Bobby, we can read this book with you or without you. But you got to think about us, and you got to think about those fourth graders. <laughs> what have I done? <laughs> Eric, the only term... The only thing I care about apart from now on, the only thing I'm going to use to clean my ears is rock and roll. Looks like someone put pepper on your back. Oh, a little bit of pepper. Look at my nose. Don't you do that. We ignore the ceiling. 